The world will never starve for want of wonders, but only for want of wonder. Floating water, my everlasting world, there's a way. Without the spirit of man, there could be no wonder. Campbell River really is the birthplace of guided sport fishing in, in, on the west coast of British Columbia. Luckily in Campbell River we're surrounded by a multitude of rivers that all have a uh, different mix of species. There's uh, opportunities for trout, um, the Chinook and the Cohoes and the Chums are in the river and there's potential, potential at the right time we're out water conditions for uh, steelhead too in some of the rivers. We'll just keep looking in. Yeah. That's what fishing is sometimes. Draw a line along the chalkboard yeah. and then draw the same line back and then come back to your you're passing to the and then and just pop it. And you're two hands against each other All right, yeah. in opposition, like a wrist shot in hockey. We're at the Hague Brown House. Uh, this is the former home of uh, Roderick and Anne Hague Brown, as well as their four children, Celia, Alan, Valerie, and Mary. His wife, Anne, was also very well known and respected in the community. He was a really important uh, environmental activist in the province before that was uh, a common thing. Now he's been designated as a person of national historic significance. He was a avid fly fisherman, especially in his younger days, and wrote extensively about fishing rivers. Later in his years, when he wasn't fishing so much, he, would, he started snorkeling the river. He just loved the fish and the natural environment. Fly fishing is that sport where it lends itself to poetry and, and to writing. It's, uh, and I think uh, he captured that essence well of the area and at the time that he was, uh, he was writing. I think the Campbell River still has some magic. You know, you can look back on the writings that he had and see the spirit of the river that he wrote about. And, and when you're walking along the river, you can envision the river that he found it at. Uh, it's, it's of course 50, 60, 70 years later, but the river itself still has magic and uh, still has fish. That was a good cast. Yeah, I think there's fish sitting out there. I think he got, I think he got bumped. Nope, yep, what's that? That's a fish. You got it. That's a strong one. <laughs> they're, they're tough fish, aren't they? That's just awesome. That rod just torqued over. <laughs> there's not a little trout. It's a nice chum. It looks like 12, 14 pounds. Yeah, it's a big fish. Perhaps I have labored unduly the wonder of natural things.
But I believe that is the wonder we most easily slight and neglect, an ability to find freshness in things that dullness cannot bring to life.